It's the worst one. Unnecessary surgery land. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the other one. Yeah. <laughs> um, and last but certainly not least, a lot of things are happening in China. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of things. A lot of companies desperately want to do business in China, particularly those in the online video game space. But this has nothing to do with that. Oh, it doesn't? This is something else completely. Oh, I'm thinking of something different. Yeah. This is a completely different story happening in terms of video games All in right, China. let's hit it. China imposes online gaming curfews for kids to prevent addiction. No, this is exactly what I was talking about. Enforced with a government database. You killed my segue. It was it was good. This is I don't know about businesses trying to work with China. This story is about China creating a fucking database and like having a rule set. Well, I just think it's funny that if you're a video game company that desperately wants to work with China and then made a fucking ass of themselves, that'd be really, really fucking hilarious if the government then said, by the way, we're imposing severe limits uh, on your ability to actually make any fucking money. Are you trying to get to Plat in Overwatch? Hope you can do that through the an great hour red and a half oh my God. per day. Oh fuck! And three hours on holidays. The South China Morning Post reports that a new addiction, anti-addiction measure, uh, had, had measures have been outlined by the state administration and press publications, aka China's gaming regulator, including limits on spending and playable playtime in, in online games. Yeah, the other thing is there's a limit on spending. In yes. the games as well. So those under the age of 18 will now be limited to one and a half hours per day, except on holidays when they can play for three hours. Ooh! On a holiday, you're allowed double time. Yeah. Which must take place between the hours of 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. Spending is being limited, too, with kids no longer allowed to spend more than about 44 pounds on in-game purchases per month. Uh, players under eight are restricted from purchasing anything at all. Uh, and of course, those too young to play the game under the age rating system will be blocked from access. Uh, and yes, they have a real-time registration system with real names and um, a database that Tencent introduced that they'll be able to enforce this. Good thing there's with. no uh, online games you'd want to play late at night if you're 16 or 17 years old for oh. more than an hour. So did you get like a day off and you're trying to become some sort of professional streamer <laughs> or you're trying to become a game developer uh or you're trying to just follow your hobby wherever it may take you or like try and stop jerking off for like a second and do something else with your hands now that we are in a future where careers based on video games are very existent and they're possible. still stupid though don't for don't they're dumb. totally but it's a thing that exists and way to nip that 100 percent in the bud mm -hmm. by saying no you're not allowed to ever do that well you know what video games do Willie? they corrupt the youth mm. now there's some big boomer energy state boomer energy damn is china the biggest boomer of them all one thousand percent damn curfew <laughs> yo what are you doing staying up late but i want to play my xbox are you 18 go to bed at 10 p.m no but i i i i'm not my job is night shift i have a job that's night shift and no you don't and it requires me to be at work from 6 p.m to like noon just don't sleep what if i can only play video sure. games and i guess you just can't play video games get fucked says winnie the pooh oh no damn that's like it's fucking salty as shit that Chris Robin beat him in that pitching contest, huh? <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> like, this, so this, you know, was... Uh, yes, I did say an 18-hour shift. That's the point of what I was saying. It is what he was saying. I, that was a very deliberate choice. It was a choice. joke. It was a joke about working conditions. That was that was a deliberate choice. Get yes. on get on board, Boomer Chat. You, I don't know. Come, in, come on, man. It was intentional. I feel like Boomerism is becoming a pseudo-witch hunt. Um... Because you can just point at anything and say it's a boomer now. Yeah, but it's also becoming a country. So. Oh, man. <laughs> more importantly... It's getting stronger on the daily, man. More importantly, like, this sucks for a lot of kids. Yeah, well... A lot. And... I'm sure they have much more important things that sucks that they should probably be worried about. I guess, yes, for <laughs> sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. No doubt, no doubt, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt, no doubt. No doubt. But I guess I just thought that somehow in the in in the mix <laughs> where everybody's already pretty like, what the fuck are you guys doing? That they would like chill. <laughs> but why would they chill? Why would a world, that's insane. Why would a government chill? No, that's insane. That's not that's the wrong turn of phrase. I don't expect China to chill. China has you no, used to be cool, man. China has no chill. That's insane. That's not what I mean. What I mean is you would think they would not invite more bullshit. Well, don't give a shit. I guess not. The fuck do you... It's just crazy timing is all. Yeah, it's it's really funny. It's crazy timing to roll out something that's so absolutely batshit. Oh, yeah. On top of all the batshit things already oh, happening. Totally. But then again, people are in cross concentration camps, so what are you going to eh, do? What are you going to do? Your video game time is the least of your worries, I suppose. Back to video games. For an hour and a half. Uh-oh, this podcast has lasted longer than that. Guess you'll have to finish it tomorrow. Can you listen to a podcast for longer than... Depends if we're classified as a video game. <laughs> I don't think our podcast would be allowed in the country yeah, right now. Probably not. Um, but you could play Mystery of Castle Super Beast. Maybe even get partway through it if it's a holiday. Hold on. I don't believe there are any skeletons in that game. No, there aren't. It's good. Good to go. There is a, like, creepy monster thing that looks almost like a skeleton. It's pretty freaky. But it's made of, like, root. It's, it's like, elongated. Yeah. It's, it's weird. It's made of root. So, technically, we're okay. It's a brown skeleton, but it's not quite a skeleton, and we don't know if it's gay or not. Doesn't really come up. It doesn't seem pertinent at the time. <laughs> see, but if you see two skeletons holding hands, yeah, how do you know what they were? You can tell by the hip oh diameter. yeah, the hips yeah, yeah that's true, the thing. true, 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 true. So this it's not banned outright. You have to analyze the hips first. Yeah, you, I and if they woolly, look, woolly, yeah. If they look the same. Well, I don't... I'm going to be really real. I, I very much don't want to go into this conversation. Because I, I know way too much via osmosis about skeletons. I'm just trying... I don't want to talk about what? it. I don't want to talk about it. I'm, we're try, I'm just trying to dunk on China. Why I know, I know. But I am scarred by my proximity fucking... to skeleton degeneracy. Well, that's ruined. It sure is. 